is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be playing with the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I've had this sitting in my bin of new makeup to try for a couple weeks now, honestly, and I just haven't gotten around to trying it. Um, I also have a concealer to test out as well. This says it's a weightless liquid foundation with up to 24 hour wear. So you know we gotta do a wear test. So I figured today we would sit down and play with it, see how it applies, our first impressions, and then as always, I will take you through the day with me and we can see how it wears, if there's any issues with it or if it's a new favorite. So if you guys are interested in seeing me test out this new foundation from Urban Decay, then let's get right into it. So before we get started, um, I did already do all my skincare and put on my toners and my eye cream and my moisturizer and all that stuff. I have a little bit of lip balm on, so I am like prepped and ready to go. So for primer, I want to go in with two primers that I know work really, really well for me. I know I love them. They work really great with a bunch of different types of foundation. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I just need a little bit of extra added hydration. This is obviously not necessary, but I just like to lay this down first. It just creates a really fresh, like clean base. And then I'm of course gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer. This is my favorite, and I'm just going to put this in the areas where I typically get a little bit oily, which would be my T-zone. So, oh my God, I'm like almost out of it. I need to get more. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pat this in to the areas, like I said, that get pretty oily, and then I'm just gonna really work it in. I love this primer because it's also a little bit pore filling, so it's kind of a multitasking product. So I will leave the price of this product somewhere around here so that way you guys know what you're getting. Um, but basically this says it's a flexible, breathable, real skin matte finish, medium buildable coverage, doesn't transfer, minimizes the appearance of pores, true color, waterproof, and it's a vegan formula. Does not contain animal-derived ingredients or byproducts. That's pretty, pretty good. So I got two shades just because, as you can see, I am self-tanned. I never do my face just because it irritates my skin and it's kind of a waste of product for me. Um, but I am going to match my foundation to my body, not my actual shade. People love to comment about that, but whatever. Um, so basically, I have the shade 50YW and 20NN, and I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it gives you a really good breakdown of the shade names. And so 50WY, 50 shows that it's a medium shade intensity. The W is for the master tone, which is warm, and then it has a yellow undertone. So you're getting a pretty detailed color description here, so you should be able to find your color match really, really well. And then I got 20NN, which is a fair intensity with neutral master tone and then a neutral undertone. So I'm hoping that I'm having, a, mm, I shouldn't have gotten something with a yellow base. I don't know, I should have, normally I go more neutral and I'm trying out a new self tanner, which is definitely very red base. Um, so, but I think I'm definitely gonna be the darker shade. We'll just apply it and hope for the best. So light coverage is if you use the Sold Separately Urban Decay Diffusing Blush Brush. No, medium coverage using a blending sponge and then full coverage use a flat brush. So I think I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender. This is clean, it's just a little bit stained. And yeah, this is, this is pretty yellow. <laughs> This is a better undertone, I think, but it's obviously just too light. So I'm definitely gonna have to go in with 50W. So this is what the packaging looks like, and there's already fingerprints all over it, sorry. And it is a plastic container, so it's not gonna break on you while you travel. And then you do have a pump. So let's just go in and do it, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's foundation, how, whoa. So it is a pretty liquidy consistency. It's not as liquidy as like the Pat McGrath, which I just tried. Um, so I'm just going to, the color might actually not be terrible. So this is just one pump. I wanna see how far we can get with just one pump of this. Okay, 
that's not covering very much. This is the second pump. How do people get this foundation to look so full coverage on them? The third pump. <laughs> so I'm thinking actually I'm just gonna do half my face and then I will go in with a brush on the other half to see if I get a little bit more coverage because this to me is very medium coverage. This is not full coverage at all. And again, I know the undertone of this foundation is wrong for me. I think it was my Makeup Forever foundation video where so many people were like, it's the wrong shade after I said it like 10 times and even pinned a comment that I knew it was the wrong shade, but that's okay. All right, so on this side, I'm just going to take a Morphe M4 three nine kind of foundation brush. I just wanna see if I get a little bit more coverage with a brush i just feel like this is very medium coverage as you can see i have some scarring peeking through um oh yeah i think a brush might be the way to go with this foundation so if you want medium coverage use your beauty blender but if you're looking for i mean look at that that covered everything if you're looking for very full coverage then I would definitely 110% go in with a foundation brush. I really like this so far. I would say it's definitely like a satin matte finish. It's not like a flat matte finish. And it is a little bit of a thicker foundation, so it doesn't dry down as quickly. That's why I'm saying definitely satin matte. Um, as you can see, there is still a little bit of dew and like glow to my face. I really like this though kind of like a demi matte. Yeah, so upon first application, I really, really like it. I think it's a really nice foundation. I'm loving the way it looks. So now I want to apply the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. This again says up to 24 hour wear. It says buildable, full coverage, flexible, breathable, doesn't transfer, real skin, matte finish, corrects the look of imperfections, and waterproof as well. So I have mine in the shade. 20 nn which is fair neutral this might be a little bit light for me uh yeah it's gonna be too light but that's okay so this is what the packaging looks like for this one so this is the wand it's very interesting looking as you can see it's bent and it is a smaller doe foot applicator um oh shit this is not gonna go well Ooh, that's thick this is way too light for me again i know it's the wrong shade but we're just gonna work with it, okay? I mean, it blends out really well. It kinda actually blends into like nothing. I mean, you can't even really tell I highlighted, can you? Yep, this is definitely medium coverage. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I still have a lot of like blue veins peeking through here and some darkness in my inner corner. It blends out well though. I mean, it looks really nice with the foundation. So that part I don't hate. Um, I just, I need a little bit more coverage, like right here. And then it's like virtually disappeared on like my chin and my nose, which I mean is fine, um, but it, it's just not a very, it's a thick concealer. It has a really thick formula, but it's not very full coverage. And I'm feeling like adding more isn't really making a difference. I would say it's definitely medium, but I don't agree with the buildable because as you can see, I've done two layers and it's still kind of medium coverage. I don't hate it though. I think it looks nice. I just don't know if I like this concealer with such a full coverage foundation, or I guess this is a medium coverage foundation too. So I guess they kind of go together. But if I'm wearing a foundation like this, I'm obviously going to build it up to be full coverage. So I would want a full coverage concealer as well. But if you're using this in terms of a medium coverage foundation, the concealer kind of matches the intensity of the foundation. I just like something with a little more pigment and 
something with a little bit more power behind it. Alrighty, you guys, so this is today's makeup look. I actually really, really love how my makeup turned out. I haven't worn winged eyeliner in such a long time, and I actually didn't jack it up as bad as I thought I would. And I'm actually going pretty simple today. I didn't even want to apply a lash just because I'm really loving the bold wing. So to finish off the entire face, I did go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I thought since we're using Urban Decay products, we would kind of stick with the theme and I actually really, really love this spray. I love this one in the D Slick. The All Nighter is definitely my favorite though. So it is currently 12 17. I'm gonna go about my day. I have quite a few things to do. I have some work to do. So I am going to try and get at least maybe like eight to 10 hours of wear of this foundation. So far, I'm really, really loving it. So let's get this wear test on the road. Alrighty, so here we are in some natural light. Do not mind my <laughs> aggressively overdrawn lips. <laughs> I have the smallest lips in the entire world, so I use so much lip liner. People are always like, oh my god, did you get filler? No, I didn't. It's the power of contour and lip liner and a really good gloss. But anyways, how good does this foundation look? I think this might be one of my new favorites. I feel like I say that in every foundation wear test though, but honestly, I haven't found anything that I like hate yet. This looks so good to me. Still definitely pretty medium coverage because as you can see here, I have two kind of breakouts and it didn't quite cover every single thing. But again, I don't want my makeup to look like a complete mask because the skin on my neck is not as perfect as the foundation. So you can get that really, really harsh line. So I don't want something that looks so cakey and so mask like and like airbrush but this i think it makes your pores look so good now that i've set it and added bronzer and everything i think the color is actually pretty good for my body and i really really like it i think it's so pretty Alrighty, you guys so i'm actually going to finish this video like vlog style just because i'm so freaking tired um so i'm here in my bathroom it's like 10 18. so i've had this foundation on for 10 hours now um and i think it still looks pretty good obviously i did eat and drink so the ring around my lip is obviously from where it wore off um usually foundations wear off really really easily on my nose that's kind of my problem area but i think this still looks really really good as you can see, I'm pretty dang shiny, and I normally have like combo to normal skin, I guess. I am a little bit oily in my T-zone, so I'm kind of surprised that even though I used a pretty mattifying primer, and that's like a very reliable primer, I'm still really, really greasy. Um, but honestly, it doesn't look terrible. Like nothing broke up. My makeup still looks really good, so I think if I were to just blot, and apply a little bit more powder, I would be like good to go. But I think it wore pretty well. I think it looks really good. Um, I did take the dogs out and I was playing with them outside where it was really, really hot. Like I said, I ate and drank. I did a lot of stuff today. Um, I did spend the majority of my day inside, so I don't know how well this would wear like in the dead of summer. Um, but let me see. I'm literally using toilet paper to blot this. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not terrible. I like this foundation. I think it's really nice. It's definitely medium. Yeah, you can see it right there, some of the oil and makeup that's coming off. Um, but even with just blotting, it already looks like a million times better. I give this foundation a A minus, B plus. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I'm definitely gonna wear it again. I'm not mad at it. Um, it did, wear a little funky where I built it up. I kind of piled it on right there to cover breakouts and stuff. But yeah, it's still pretty full coverage. It's really nice. I like it. Urban Decay did good on this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey or I just thought I would do a little bit of a different ending to this video because it is so late. 
I need to get this off my face. I need to go to bed. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and if you want more foundation wear tests and me to test out more products, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.